AI is evolving at an exponential rate. And there's two things I think we've learned about humans. We're really bad at exponentials and we're really bad at transitions. We live in a crazy time for AI. Every week there's new technology. No one can possibly keep up. We're living on a treadmill that is speeding up. So I think you could describe what's going on today as a bit of a land grab for rethinking basically all functions of business. At the end of that land grab, there's gonna be a massive amount of disruption from what the market looks like today. So there is this huge opportunity today. The downside to this gold rush is there's a lot of competition. A lot of the impediment to entering markets has actually been removed. The mandate that I think everyone should have is just actually adopt AI. Specialize, use AI to build expertise. That's gonna allow companies to leapfrog the competition in ways that we haven't seen before. But at the same time, you can't throw more AI at a problem simply to, to solve it without a thoughtful application of the technology. This is a core to building a good AI product. Building trust is one of the most important things that an AI product can do today. We need to rethink how we build trust into software. And also, how do we maintain that trust? So there's two foundational ways applications can build trust over AI, grounding and bounding. What does that mean? So grounding means providing the right context for the decisions you made or for the answer you provided. And bounding means providing guardrails, ensuring that the model doesn't go out of the scope of what it's supposed to do. Those constraints might be formal constraints, like generate code that compiles, or they might be sort of tonal constraints, like be respectful to the customer, don't discuss the competitors. Getting it right is one of the most important things that an AI application can do. It really boils down there to setting expectations and building systems that are as transparent as possible in how they arrive to the decisions or recommendations they make. Understanding the context in which a decision is made, the information that the AI used is just as important as the answer to that question. Humility is a word we like to remind ourselves. Where the model can, can confidently say, I don't know, or you've asked me a question that's out of the scope of what I can answer effectively. How does it gracefully fail? We have a confidence threshold, and based on different levels of confidence, we have different policy of answering. It can hedge, literally, in the text that it generates. So, in the context of an AI application like RunLLM, what we do. If the confidence is like very low, we modulate our response accordingly. We'll use words like I think, or it seems, or it may be the case. Just like with human dialogue, conversation, we have subtlety. We have all these other cues that help us understand the nuance. Companies that can do that are gonna be able to put AI applications in production much sooner than their competition. But at the same time, you don't want to apply LLMs and AI in places where the technology simply isn't ready today. The challenge for companies is there's so much talk, there's so much hype, the only way to stay ahead of everything that's going on is to stay plugged in. Use it in very tactical places to get started where the stakes are relatively comfortable. Come up with a solid metrics of measuring and experimenting it with different solutions. Then you can move on to more mission critical things that are closer to the beating heart of your business. If you're not giving your teams the freedom and the ability to innovate, you're not setting them up for success. But if you get in the game now, you're gonna be so far ahead of everybody in a few years. What we'll see is a winner takes vertical market, where the teams that are able to best apply AI in a way that builds expertise and integrates deeply into a workflow, specializes in order to solve a very hard and very specific problem, those are gonna be the companies that deliver the most value and generate the biggest winners. We're just beginning to scratch the surface. We still have so much that we could get out of these systems. Even if foundation models were to plateau today, there is probably a decade or more of innovation that can be done. It's sort of like we invented a deep sea submarine that can get to the bottom of the ocean floor, but now we have all of that ocean floor to go and uncover. There's so much excitement to reach new frontiers. Companies that you've never heard of that maybe don't even exist yet that are gonna become titanic parts of the economy. And it's causing the need to reckon with the transformation that is going to happen. The question isn't whether AI is gonna transform your industry, it's whether you're going to be leading that transformation. Transformation.